Hello, Paul Landers here from G4 Guitar School Ashford. And as a bonus for the workshop, learn how to rock, riff and solo the EMI pentonic scale. We're going a bit more in depth with some of the songs. And this one, we're gonna be looking at Sweet Home Chicago by Eric Clapton. Now the riff that we did in the workshop, you can pretty much play over most of the song to be fair. But again, I wanna give you a bit more variation because it is very similar all the way through. It's just a 12 bar blues backing. If you're at the 12 bar blues workshop, this will make sense. If not, don't worry, because we're gonna go through it again. So we'll look at trying to back that. So what you can do for rhythm guitar, basically. And we're gonna use an A, an E5, sorry, E5 power chord, open E string, second fret on the A. And you strum that twice, and then we're gonna put our third finger down on the fourth fret of the A and strum that twice. And you just alternate between them. So you're going one, two, one, two. And you get some nice blues um, rhythm. And then we're going to drop that down, so we end up with our first string on the D string fret 2, and then put it down on the D string fret 4, and then strum the open A strings, just the A and the D strings there, and then back up. And the other shape we need to know is this shape. So first fingers on the A2, third fingers on the D4, and that's our B5 power chord. Or actually, we could even change it. If you find the B5 a bit tricky, well, actually, this might be easier. <laughs> we could use a B7 in replacement for that, an open B7, which is first thing on the D1, second thing on the A2, third thing on the G2, and little finger on the E2. So up to you, could I've used the B5 or the B7. B7 is quite nice because you strum it a little bit more. B5 might be easier because you're pretty much in that shape with the first finger when you need it, basically. So let's go through it. So we're going to do the E5 or the E shuffle, the E power chord or blues rhythm for four bars. So one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two. Then we go to the A chord. Two bars, two, two, three, back to E. Or one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And then B, so it could be the B7 chord. Then we go to A and E and back to that B. So let's uh, break it down a little bit more. So it's 12 bar progression. We're doing four bars of E and two bars of A, two bars of E, one B, one A, one E, one B. <laughs> so it's not too bad the first eight bars, say four bars are all the same on E. And then next two bars, five and six can be A. 7 and 8 back to E. It's this last 4 that's a bit tricky. So bar 9 is the B. 10 is the A. Then 11 is going to be E. And then 12 back to the B. So that last line, we've got the B for 1 bar. A for 1 bar. E for 1 bar. And then back to the B. Again, you could use that shape. You could use that shape. Entirely up to you. And that's it, it's that 12 bar progression that circles around. He does occasionally put in an A on the second bar instead of just four bars of E. So he'll do E, A, E, E instead of four bars of E. Um, so watch out for that, use your ear. Just go through it all one more time. So we've got the E, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, four, two, three, four then A, two, three, four, two, three, four, and E. And then we go into the B, A, and then E, and then back to the B, and then E, A. So again, occasionally frozen that A in that second bar. And then A, E. And then we go into the B, so I'll do the open chord this time, A. B. And there you go, so just that 12 bar pattern looped around. Now you could then experiment with improvising. You know, there's quite a few solos in this song, be it keyboard, be it guitar. And just that E minor pentatonic scale we can then use to solo. So that you just take that little lick. And just experiment. Uh, again, going over the kind of improvisation ideas, the four steps, and using that as a great kind of launch pad. You can also download the backing track, which you then obviously you can play along with and really experiment with trying to come up with some tunes and improvisations of your own. So that's what I definitely suggest, play around on the backing track and try and improvise over the top. So there we go, just basically a 12 bar blues um, progression, looping around, just trying to get that rhythm open, that third finger down. 
And um, yeah, there we go. There's Eric Clapton's Sweet Home Chicago.